I am back. So I got a message that uh, Robin would like to see this finished, not actually have it just come up on a on a short. So I'm like, hey, no problem. Hubby's watching his show tonight, and I have some other things to show you guys. So, but we'll start with this. We'll get this uh, finished. Tina McCall, my sweetie pie Tina, um, asked me or suggested that she thought the letters should be white. And I agreed. So I gessoed them white. Hi, Tina. So I gessoed them white. And then what I'm going to do, where did my, I thought I grabbed the right one. I must have switched when I was grab them. Oh, hi, Ladybug. It is, it is cool, isn't it? Here it is. Okay. So what I did, and, and that's kind of flat, right? And I, I really wanted it. Oh. Thank you, Sherry. Hi, Gloria. So guys, this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put this really fun, shiny, glittery, right? As we're all warming up for our evening, because I've got some exciting things to show you guys. Hi, Robin. I decided hubby's watching every Saturday night from six to eight. He watches um, Three Stooges. Ugh. I don't hate him. don't love him. They are just the Three Stooges. But to him, it's something he loves. And then after that, it's Ben Gooley, and he watches those shows. So Saturday nights, I'm usually on my own. And I either will just watch some TV, or I will come down here and work on my own. But now that I've traded uh, work nights, Friday nights um, have off and do date night, I can come down here and do this. I did paint them white, but I painted them white with gesso. Okay, just just so because I really didn't know just how white I wanted them. I didn't know if I wanted to look a little bit distressed, is what which is what it did did look like. You see that how it's a little bit distressed. And then now do you see the glitter on there? It's not showing up as well as I would like, but it might when it's dried. Sometimes that's the way it is. But so I'm gonna put this on all the letters, and then I'm gonna come in with a holographic gel through a stencil. In this area and this area and I did add the uh, enjoy laughter so yes I was excited and then after that I want you guys to know that I got the games that I was telling you about earlier earlier I was talking about how I ordered two new games and I got to figure out how to incorporate them basically into online party games you know what I'm saying like it's not gonna just necessarily be easy I'm gonna have to put a little bit of work into it but I also uh, really think it's going to be worth it and really fun. So tonight we are going to do arts and exploring the ideas of these new games that I got. It is not. It's like a little suitcase. It's a, a gift from Sherry Jones. And it's like a little suitcase. Isn't that fun? just amazing i i was and then she gave me um gloves there was gloves in here and some other mixed media products it was just just amazing sweetest gift i have been so blessed recently i mean i'm always blessed trust me i uh i appreciate everything that i have in my life but um i've been having some people really reach out and just be very kind and generous it is always fun to go to the post office and find that going on, right? What will I keep in my box? Well, I'm going to probably put the gloves in here for now because there was like, I swear you guys, she sent me six, at least six pairs of gloves. And they're so beautiful. And I want to fold them up nicely and kind of, I might even iron them, press them, you know. But I already have one project that I'm going to use uh, one of one of one or two of the gloves in. So I, I'm already starting to focus on getting it, you know, I am so feeling better. So feeling better. You guys, I can't even tell you enough. Now this is the laser iridescent paste that I use a lot. And this is something I get from Hobby Lobby. I buy it when it is 50% off. And so I only pay like 450 for it. But what I want to do here is figure out what stencil 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 stencils what and i have too many stencils 
so it's always a little bit hard to drag them out. I don't know if you guys use stencils much, but they tend to hook onto each other and just become a pain. A pain. I think this one might work though. Might even bring in a little bit of color. Let's do this one. Sometimes it'll grab the paint off of there, and that'll be a good thing because then, I mean, it depends, you know. If you don't want the paint, then you need to clean your stencils, but I don't do that. So here we are. Here we are, but I definitely would want the pink if I got anything. So now I got to remember, this is already wet right here, right? But I'm going to take, and I don't know how far you guys want me to get into my, into my process here, but I want you to know, I go from the corner out and then I let it kind of randomly stop. I don't make a, a straight line, right? So I'm going to put it through, I'm going to press it down, and I'm going to kind of let it not have a straight line. Then I'm going to come over here and press this out, bring it back up, bring it down. And it's just there, but it's not, it has a more of a rougher edge. You know what I'm saying? There we go. So there's that. And now that's on top of the tissue paper that we did. And that's just a sparkle. That's not really, doesn't, uh, it's just a layer. And there is the blue and purple in there. So I'm really, I'm happy with that because do you see the blue and purple in that? And if I hadn't done it through that stencil, then I wouldn't have got that color. So I'm going to do it the same thing. Over, actually, I might go ahead and add just a touch over here. Grab what's on there. And bring it out up here a little bit. And it is grabbing that pink, and I'm okay with that. But that's the thing is if you don't want to grab the color in your project, then you need to clean your stencils. Right? Right? But I think a little pop of color will do this project good. Now I'm going to lay this right over here like this. I'm going to grab up some more. And I'm going to come in from this side over here and go across. And I'm going to take it to the laughter. I'm going to take it all the way to the laughter. Then over here above the laughter a little bit. And then I'm going to lift it up. And there we go. Okay. So now I'm going to set this aside real quick. And this is an envelope. I like to leave envelopes around. And I do uh, different, I, you know, take off stuff that's supposed to normally be on a piece of scrap paper or something, but I like to decorate envelopes with them and then I send things out in the envelopes. But, uh, so see that? I'll show you close here in a second. It's because the ink is on there is why it gets so cool and does such fun stuff. And that's why I do leave the ink on my stencils. I just have to be careful which ones I'm blending together. But you see that? How fun is that? It's starting to layer up quite a bit, right? Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to have to think about washing that, I think. So, fine. To put that in the wash pile. Let's bring this back. Well, thank you, ladies. I, um, see if I can get my other camera out of the way. I've got two cameras here now. There we go. Just trying to get this to where I can go like that. Do you see the glitter on there now? Okay, so I did a white gesso to give. There we go. There we go. There it is. That's the money shot right there. See that? Oh, my Ricky and my Rosie are having at it. So this will be a considered a mixed media techniques, right? We use tissue paper, matte gel, chipboard, um, matte gel, tissue paper, gesso, acrylic paint. Um, just, I mean, there's just a lot there. There's just a really lot. And layering is the secret to everything, in my opinion. I, I try to say that quite a bit. The more layers you go. I didn't like it for a little bit. For, for half a minute, I really, I wasn't sure I was happy with it. And then I got to where I was like, Melody, you know how this works. You have to finish all the layers before you can decide if you don't like it. Now I'm loving it because I have my bling here. 
This is the bling that I bought from Elsa right here, these bigger ones. And that's what made me want to bring a little bit of color into it. Tina says, I haven't done much mixed media. I have decoupage many times, but that's all. It is looking fun. Yeah, I, I'm really, I'm feeling like it's going to be a fun addition to my craft room, right? And I'm thinking that I'm going to, you know what? I wonder if I should have done it upside down. Then I could have had it sit like that. But my my vision was is that it would be, I guess, tilted up on the handle. I don't know. I don't know. Let's look at the games, guys. You ready to look at the games? Anyone ready to see what Melody did? What did Melody do? Who knows? Okay. So I found this online and I couldn't believe it and I had to buy it and I'm so excited I did. Are you ready? Familiar Faces Bingo Game. Now, I don't know how I'm going to make it work because it's kind of different. But if nothing else, us um, actual uh, junk journal makers, right? Look at this. Look at the size of these cards. Do you see my... <laughs> Let me get a ruler. I don't know if I'm going to have one that I can grab. No, I took it to the other table. But any... Oh, here's one. Here's one. We're talking... Five by seven. These are five by seven. Hi, Kiki. <clears throat> and it's a 52 card deck. Okay. They're just wrapped separately. And like I said, even if we, if I don't figure out a way to make them a game, which I'm going to try to figure out. Look at these cards. Now, this is the cool part. Look at the other sides. We have Martin Luther King. We have Cher. Oh, my gosh. I actually seen her in concert. This is going to be so fun. Clark Gable. There was a swap I was in where we were supposed to pick um, something about our area that was famous. And he had done um, uh, theater over in Astoria uh, here in Oregon. Charles Bronson. Loved the movies when I was a kid. Charlie Chaplin. Don't know him very well. Loved Bing Crosby. Cary Grant. I had a crush on him when I was a kid. Like I would in, in second and third grade, I would write signs on the wall that Cary Grant has nothing over so-and-so boy in my class because I would get to where I like the boy in my class more than Cary Grant. But what a handsome guy. Betty Davis. Gotta love her. Bill Cosby. Audrey Hepburn. Barbara Eden. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, Alfred Hitchcock. And Margaret. William Shatner. Oh, Grace Kelly. Gregory Peck. George Burns. I loved him. Goldie Hawn. I still love her. Farrah Fawcett. Frank Sinatra. Elizabeth Taylor. Is she not stunning? <gasps> Elvis Presley. Oh, man. But I wouldn't have done to meet him back in the day. Desi Arnaz. Don Knotts. Dean Martin and Debbie Reynolds. Okay, and my husband wasn't sure if that was uh, Sandra D or um, we couldn't we couldn't remember the other one, but now I, I recognize you now that I see it. So there is the decks of cards. That's all everybody. No, no, that was only half. I set it on top of the other one. I there we go. Share was first. Okay, Cloris Leachman. Louis Armstrong, Lucille Ball, oh my goodness, Julie Andrews, Catherine Hepburn, John Wayne, Cary Grant is my all-time favorite actor. If you have not watched and if you remember, you need to. I agree, Tina. I literally agree. Oh, let me, let me pop my drink open. I had planned on having a drinky poo or two tonight since, since I can. Right. Judy Garland, Gene Stapleton, John F. Kennedy, James Dean, James Stewart, Ingrid Bergman. Beautiful. Jacqueline Kennedy, Groucho Marx, Scarecrow, Walter Matthau, Suzanne Plachette, Cowardly Lion, Spencer Tracy, Stan Laurel. Rita Hayworth. Oh my gosh. You guys, if I could be anybody, I think it would have been her. 
but then it was really sad her life story because uh the problem with with men and and probably people in general is when you are Rita Hayward and they get to know you and you're not as fabulous as you come off to be it's disappointing for the other people I think everyone should be accepted for what and who they are Sophia Loren Peter Sellers Richard Burton Natalie Wood and Paul Newman oh my gosh so then here's the boards so the the deal is is that you would put a token on the board right oh, get scissors melody stop trying to use your fingernails that's not what they're meant for Ow. at least that's what i've been told when i was growing up my mom used my her fingernails my my mom used her fingernails for whatever and they were real okay so the boards are all a little bit different as you can see and i'm trying to come up with a way hi chris hi mari oh it's so nice to see you guys feel free to give me a thumbs up while you're here but you don't have to i will still love you anyway so i am looking over this bingo uh game that i purchased which is familiar faces bingo and the cool thing about it is is that if nothing else if i can't make it work for um online bingo then i can at least make it work i'll make some journals out of it right or figure out something but that is that and i am excited about it so i just got to get my head wrapped around if i'm able to maybe make rows for names or um you know i don't i'm not sure that part i'm gonna have to figure out but gosh these cards are so cool this is a deck of cards what am i getting on oh i cut myself that's right i could feel it when i did it but i didn't i didn't realize it that remember when i said ow <laughs> I didn't think it actually cut me like that, but it did. So, yeah, we might have blood, sweat, and tears on here eventually. But for now, we'll just get this off here. I cut it pretty good, ladies. You know what I do when I get a cut in the craft room? I grab washi tape. And I taper off. That's what I do. Who needs band-aids? me the scarecrow yes the scarecrow and the um lion are on here let's see there's one with the scarecrow there's one with the lion so wouldn't even this would i mean i'm, I'm probably not going to chunk it up you know i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it in good shape for now but wouldn't it have been cool to um use for like a wizard of oz journal or something i'm just so excited about these cards i think they're fun i just think it's so fun so anyways that's that and that's that's my story and i'm sticking to it i'm gonna figure out a way i'm gonna figure out a way might take me a hot minute now the second game is this <laughs> and i was really excited about this one because this one i think i can i can make work easily okay but if I can open the box or get the box the back the way I want it so I can show you the cover. There we go. Okay. On um, Amazon, Robin, both of these are off of Amazon. And there's a book coming that's uh, got images from the um, 1920s to 1960s, I think, um, from movie stars and things. And so I was really excited about that. So this... <laughs> I just want you to know, I'm not saying you're stupid, but take a wild guess is what they're basically saying. They're saying, <laughs> I'm going to give you questions. Now, we're not playing tonight because I'm just giving you a preview of what's coming up next Saturday night if I don't go out of town or or Wednesday night or Tuesday night or whenever I pop up. So you got to watch for me. If you don't have my bell clicked, you may miss something awesome. I'm telling you because there are <laughs> there are always ways to yeah black and white journal oh my gosh chris what a great idea um there are always ways for me to give away things for me to uh do some art with you for me to do the art therapy we have so many things just sitting around here like i could turn around and, and every three seconds i'd find something new i'd love to share with you so don't be running off without clicking that bell okay deal 
pinky swear? Okay, I can feel them. I can feel Chris and Mari, Robin. Well, I think I got y'all, Kiki, right? And Tina, we got you guys. Thank you. Now, this is amazing. This game is on the answers. <laughs> I love that, Robin. I love that. Oh, Mari, I'm sorry. We'll have to figure something out. Maybe, you know what? Maybe, and I've heard of Pinky Swear Ladybug. I'm sorry, Ladybug, gotcha. Um, what I would do and what I've been told by other people is you go and you unsubscribe, resubscribe, hit the bell again, and then it like resets it. But that's up to you. But that's what I've been told is, is a, um, an option. So this game has 400 and 1,000 million questions, right? Just 400. And what I'm going to do once I get a, like a sheet done up about it is write your guys' names down who's playing, okay? Then I'm going to ask the questions and you guys are going to very, very quickly, it'll be timed, put in your answers because I don't want anyone checking Google. And then you are going to have uh, like ticks next to your name of how many um, times you win you got with the correct answer the cool thing is is you don't have to type anything uh, extravagant it's all numbers for example what year was the ebola virus discovered i don't know there will be other questions that will be better but i don't know but the answer is 1976 so you would have typed in 1970 1982 1967 whatever and whoever gets it right gets the tick next to their names. And after so many rounds, whoever has the most ticks, they win the whole caboodle, the whole kitten caboodle, right? Like I'm going to do up a big, you know, like those things I was handing out the other night, last Wednesday. I'll have things like that. So yeah, yeah, we're talking some fun stuff, okay? Uh, how many TV and radio stations are there in the U.S.? Oh my gosh, I would have never guessed this. 30,000. But it does sound like fun, right, Robin? Yay, I'm glad. Because the really, the honest to goodness thing is, is that we've already got bingo established on Friday night. That's fun. That's great. But I still want to do games too. And I still want to have something uh, fun going on on my channel. So for me, I, exactly, Tina. And we learned something new. It's more of a trivia, but yet it's like weird stuff that you may know you may not know but you can wildly guess so right take a wild guess is what it says so i think that that will be this is for um ages 14 and up but we're gonna ask for 18 or older because uh you know we're all adults here and um prizes can only be given out to adults that's the way we roll here Fun. I'm glad. Okay. So I, you guys, I found these two games yesterday and had them delivered today. Or was it this morning? I think it was this morning I found them and I had them. I didn't pay extra. It just gave me the option. Have them there by 10. I'm like, sure. I'll take that. I take that option, right? <laughs> Look what I found at the Dollar Tree. Has anyone else found these there? I am amazed at what's going on at the Dollar Tree. They're selling these in Vegas with like Las Vegas on them for five bucks. And they're nice. Look at that nice blue pen. Okay, so the other thing, I guess, you know, I guess, I guess, since we're not going to be able to play this, I just, I'm not prepared. I need to have some sort of board, um, a way to keep track of names. And I'll, I'll figure that out in the next few days. But um, what I do want to do is talk about... I can find it. No. We'll do this one. So I like to alter boxes, as you've seen. And I wanted to do some more because the reason that I made that order from um, Elsa was to do the texture on a box. Right? The flat backs, gems. That's why I bought them. Otherwise, I don't use them much um, on other types of things let's see robin says she has a few she has she have a few awesome uh 
DTs are slacking in some of the new things people are finding. What is DT? Am I, is it me? Have I had too much to drink already? Because you guys got to let me in. If I've already had too much to drink, then I'm going to not open the next two, two cans because I don't even know what's going on right now. Pens! Oh my gosh. See, I might have, I might really should just stick to one because I, I was here for that conversation, wasn't I? I actually started it. Dollar Tree collect. I get it, you now. I get you. Get you, get you, get you. I walked away, lost my train of thought, had no idea what we were doing or talking about. Old age, ladies. It's not as fun as they said it was going to be, but it's still better than the alternative, I'm told. My husband, when I complain about my age, he never says something like, oh, you're still so young. You're still so vibrant. He says, it's better than the alternative. <laughs> I say, you are completely right. <laughs> completely right. Okay, so I am going to try. I'm not going to be able to do that, so I'm just going to mark off the address. Okay, there we go. Now, does anyone else like to alter boxes um, or do mixed media on other surfaces besides? I mean, I, I do it on. Um, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm just going to take this off too and I'll do a magnetic closure. I don't need that. But I'm thinking that uh, I want I want to have something else to work on in between things. Okay? That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Awesome, Sherry. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. I just get... I get uh, I get a little restless and bored if I don't have something new and fun going on, right? I know I shouldn't shouldn't worry about it so much, but I just am like, oh, I think it's the ADHD. I mean, I own it. I know that's that's who I am. That's how I am. But I get excited about, it doesn't even have to be like the best thing in the world. It can just be something distracting from the monotony of all the other stuff, you know. Just, just something fun. Fun. Fun is relative though. Not everyone thinks that trivia is fun and I understand that. Not everyone thought bingo was fun, right? We're just doing what we like to do. And if someone wants to join us, then they will. I love boxes, but I haven't altered any. Oh, well, let's make that a thing. Sherry's been saving boxes, but does not not know how to start altering them. Okay, well, let's. we're just going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay, this is going to be what we're doing tonight. So if you guys decide you want to join in, let's make a hashtag. Who wants to come up with the hashtag? Because that way, when you make a box and you share it, you can add the hashtag and we'll all get to go there and see all your boxes. So who wants to come? I, I don't have to be the hashtag control lady. So why don't one of you lady? or I got an idea. Everyone who wants to come up with the hashtag, come up with it and then we'll vote. Okay. So then whoever wins gets to be the owner of the hashtag. And all you got to do is tag me at Melody Made and I'll come look at your videos and I will be excited to see what you did. I literally could do this stuff all day and all night. Like just all day, all night. All I have to do is stop, eat, drink. I could pee in a diaper if I had to, but I haven't gone that far yet. No, I haven't got to the point where that was a necessity. Thank goodness. So I usually back in the day used to use black gesso, but I used it all and I have not told myself permission or not given myself permission to buy new black gesso because uh, black acrylic paint will work. And so I just say, gosh, Melody, you have that big old container of black uh paint because you bought it for um jelly plate painting or you know right and so i'm thinking that i just 
won't buy anything new if I don't have to for a little while. I mean, this year has been kind of spendy. You know, it's it's not cheap doing some of the activities that I had done this year. And I just really got to kind of focus and, and uh, not throw money around. Let's see. And I could stay and watch and learn. Yay. I hope you do. So this is a, um, did everyone see what it was? It's a boxy charm. So this is something that comes in my house every month. They come in three different sizes, depending on how much um, they decide to charge me. And uh, I will sometimes leave the white heart. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes I will paint all over the whole box and make it all one color. Sometimes I'll leave it looking a little distressed, right? So the thing is, is it doesn't matter. It's my box and I can do anything I want with it. And there's no rules. And if you guys try to make a hashtag where there's rules, I'm going to be in trouble because I don't follow rules very well. Right? So, is anyone going to come up with a hashtag? You guys, come on. I know you got this, don't you? Okay, so what I got to try to do is be really careful not to leave too much paint on here so that when I move it around, I ended up getting paint everywhere. That it could possibly touch. Right? I am going to leave the inside in there. But not this. So we will have some pink. Because see, I could decide to cover it with fabric. Paper. Right? But I'll go ahead and do this part just because we're here and we're doing it. And it, yeah, it's it's a it's a pink, bright pink, but on camera, you're right, it looks so red. That is the only thing I've never um liked about doing art on camera is that you guys don't see the true color of things. What you see is not always what it is. A lot of my um colors are either duller or brighter. Okay. So, like I said, I might do a paper lining inside. I might do a fabric lining. I have watched a video where they show you how to do the um, the lining where it looks, you know, like all puckered and really pretty with velvet. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I, I did try to do it. I didn't do it that well because I'm not good at actually staying and listening to the directions. I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. Bye. And then I don't actually know, you know what the technique was that they did it with but yeah so black acrylic paint ladies that's all i'm using here nothing fancy you can buy black acrylic paint at walmart okay you can buy a oh you have done some fabric oh that's awesome i have never done an explosion box they make me nervous. Anything that has to be precise makes me feel inadequate. <laughs> I, I need to throw paint and paper down like a gorilla or I'm just not really in my happy place. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm such a monkey. I, I'm telling you, it's sad because I, I would love to be the kind of person that's all detail orientated and just all just all really sweet and cute and, and uh, symmetrical and all those wonderful things that I just can't. I kind of vomit out my art a little bit emotionally and, phys you know, uh, with my hands. It just kind of gets thrown around. But you made the box. That is awesome. All righty. So I'm seeing a lot of big lines here so I'm going to try to get rid of them sometimes and I will tell you ladies I've done that showed you this before if I don't like the way the paint's looking I go over it with the brayer lighten it up then I can spread it out and it's a little bit thinner not so thick not so many lines brayers help me quite a bit in some of the things I do because I tend to layer on paint way too thick Way too thick. Okay, so there's that part. All right? Now, we have this white here. There's just this little bit here. 
no structure rules or directions exactly as soon as you do that i i lose interest i lose my confidence i lose my mind it's just not as fun for me and i just figure what you know it's like this this isn't paying the bills i don't have to do this if i don't want to so i'm going to just do what i want to do all right okay so i'm going to bring out this to set that on i'm going to get some more paint tina you sound a lot like me young lady a lot like me all righty so the box is a little bit beat up in places that's okay throw paint on it give it uh, a little bit of uh, you know gives a little bit of integrity get the paint on the parts that are torn or broken and it gives a little bit of stability again i'm not stressed about it looking um perfect if it looked a little streaky because this paint didn't get completely covered the actual black that's just to me that's you know weatherized some sometimes the free-for-all scares me a lot of people uh that's the thing is some people can do both and then some people and it sounds like you can do both because if it scares you that doesn't mean that or if it only sometimes scares you that doesn't mean you're not trying to do it um some people will not try the free-for-all at all just won't even you know it's just not their thing they don't enjoy it i've been told that uh by people i've hung out with and i get it they like it to be very precise and clean. And that is just as beautiful as anything else. But for me, that's not my my joy. And and I mean, I, I, if I took the time, obviously, if I took the time, I could do it. But I don't enjoy it. Then it becomes work, right? And I just really only want to work on what I want to work on, right? Origami, and you got so mad. <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine. I literally, if I can't just wing it, that I, I just, I might as well throw it in the garbage. I, I will mess it up somehow because my brain fights against structure. But I will admit that many years of my life, I thought it was just weird. Oh, you don't have the things you need to. Okay, well, here you go. Here's thing, something to remember, right? We just talked about this. Um, this is, you have a, a paintbrush, and this is something, a, a paint. This is folk art. I, I probably got it online at a, you know, I was buying a bigger bottle of it. But you could go to Walmart and get a four-ounce bottle for anywhere from 99 cents to $1.29. Black, white, whatever, to get you your base coat. And then from there, you just need a glue. And then from there, you hit the Dollar Tree and you find some nicky knack thingies or whatnots and you put them on here and then you paint over them again. You'll see. I, <laughs> you guys, I actually use garbage. I use the pop can tabs. I use um, milk jug caps. Um, I, I keep everything around the house as it gets discarded out of the use that it was in and I put it in a cup or in a box or a bag or whatever and I bring it down here and then I glue it on things and make mixed media out of it. So look at us go. Look at us go. Right? Look at that. That's just a few minutes and we've gotten it completely set and ready to go. I'm going to do this because it's acting like it's going to stick to that other side and I don't want it to. Now, let's talk about the stuff I got from, let's see, Tina. It's definitely um, a personality trait we are born with. I have six children that have taught me how different we can all be. Oh, yeah, Ladybug wants its work. I'm out. That's the thing. That's me in, in a in hand basket right there. I just... I, I lose my mojo. I don't enjoy it. I don't want to do it. So I bought all of these. And the first set I bought or ordered that I know that I bought, because I, I just said kind of surprised me, um, was um, 
butterflies. And I was really excited because I thought, well, I'm going to, because I just don't put that stuff on actual, you know, cards or journals or anything like that. But I'm excited to put them in my mixed media and get to show everybody another way of getting to, you know, like, let's say you don't do that kind of stuff either. Then, you know, you could still make a purchase and, and buy things that uh, you didn't realize you even had a use for. So I have these flowers type ones. I have these flower type ones. And I can't find the butterflies because, as usual, I'm a mess. My room's a mess. Everything's a mess. I'm going to clean tomorrow. Uh, famous last words. But you know what? I have found. This is what I have found, ladies and gentlemen. I usually do fine with just what I can find. I don't have to sit here and stress out or think, oh, my gosh, if I can't find that, then I can't do this. I just move on quickly and keep my flow going because if I stop and stress about the what ifs or who fors or whys then i i've lost i've lost it right okay so i want to use matte gel and since i'm thinking about using the same paintbrush ugh, put these down melody use two hands oh my goodness this one's this one's getting a little bit dry so what i do is i push the sides and then that makes it eventually to where i can open it yeah okay so see the matte gel that's what i use i buy at hobby lobby and i only buy it when master's touch is 50 percent off can you see the 19.99 okay so we are going to start attaching our mixed media pieces and I am using pieces that I purchased from, um, let me go grab a pair of tweezers real quick. Because this is going to bother me if I can't have tweezers right where I can see them and reach them. Oh, goodness. Everything got moved around while, while Melissa was here. She's working at one table and I'm working at another. And she, of course, she wasn't able to bring her. It is a glue. It's also a sealer. It's a glue and a sealer. And it's really awesome for this type of work and many others. Uh, you'll find if you're watching me that you will uh, see it be used in many different ways. I use it for my collaging. I am not going to sit here and try to do some beautiful, perfect pattern. Just, just in case anyone's thinking, oh, she's going to do something fabulous. No, no, she's not. She's going to throw these on here in a willy-nilly way. And however they land is their lot in life. Okay? But they're just glad to be out of the bag. That's the way I'm looking at it. They are just glad to be out of the bag. They didn't want to be in there anymore. So... Hi, Sheila. How are you, sweetie? She's, Sheila, Sheila's a friend of mine from Facebook and YouTube. We have known each other for quite a while. Quite a while. So you see how the matte gel is just kind of grabbing it. But I'm not stressing about where they're landing. Put something in between there so that they're not too close. It doesn't matter if colors are together. Because it's all going to get painted over. And so it's just there for texture. So I'm going to keep. I wanted to keep these ones because I thought I could use those easily in like the middle of a flower or something. But these teardrops I probably would not use. And so they will get a new life on here. Now, the thing is to remember is that, like I say, if you cluster this up enough and you do this, it doesn't matter uh, what's where or what the um, shape becomes. It's just texture. 
that makes sense i think it, i think you'll see when when uh we get to that next stage which wouldn't be today because this will need to be uh, drawing but soon maybe over the weekend but so basically what i'm saying now is you guys um prep your boxes by painting them with acrylic paint or gesso and then if you like you have some things you want to glue on there glue some things on there i'm gonna put this one in there because that one i don't that one doesn't match the other ones and then just kind of keep going out with these little flowers Melissa and I sat on the floor watching TV and gluing junk mail, you guys, literally junk mail, pieces of cardboard, um, textured paper, anything we could find to our correspondence or I was working on. No, it wasn't correspondence journal. It was we were working with. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, master master pages, master boards. So what ended up happening is, is that I ended up painting mine and already cutting it up. And I was, I had a blast. I just, it was so fun because when you cut it up, you have no idea, you know, what's going to be where or what's doing what. Because when you created it, it was just so random. Okay. Okay. So I am kind of getting a line of those right there. So what I'm going to try to do is dig in here and see if oh, here's more. I found a circle. See, it, it, it would be fun for those of you who like to create patterns and put puzzles together. But for me, who does not like to do that kind of, and I say tedious in the most wonderful way. Tedious things are wonderful too. I'm not saying it in a negative way. But for me, I can't. I just they have to just get put on there or I, I'll lose my focus and I will walk away and do something else. So if I can just get it done as quick as possible, I have a better shot. Let's see, I'd like to see one of these over here, but I'm kind of losing my there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get some of this off my this isn't a good brush for that. Which is a good brush for that? maybe maybe this one i don't know if this one's even going to be good yeah this one will work i don't want it to move my stuff but i'm going to try to get the glue and the paint and everything just to cover it all up so that nothing's going to fall back off and i don't want a lot of gobs of glue between my little my little uh tokens here or uh, charms here because then that's what you'll see is a glob. You think you won't. And it would be nice if you didn't. But if it's there, you might see it. So I try to get them off. All right. Okay. So, and like I said, it doesn't matter the color. This is not about color. This is only about texture and shape. And right now we've got this really nice, pleasant little cluster here. Do you see how we've kind of got... Just trying to move that, trying to get them to be nice and let this one play. They were being a little bit mean girl. Okay, there we go. Got the glue out of there. There you go. So if you love to do puzzles, then you would love to sit here and design and put everything into place. And have it all fit in a in an aesthetically pleasing way to you, and that is awesome too. But for me, blah. <laughs> okay. So, what do you guys think so far when you see that, right? Because you really got to see it like this to appreciate what it becomes later, right? Layers, ladies. It's all about the layers. Okay, so I'm going to try to just paint around here a little bit. Get all of this tidied up a little bit. This now is a mixture of black paint and... Uh, but, so now what I'm going to do, because we have this here, 
and that looks really nice i think that's going to work out really well right okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take as usual my go-to activity is stenciling now i don't know if you wondered yourself why is she using stencils so much and the actual reason is because one as i can and two is that mostly because I find they give me what I'm looking for with minimal effort, right? They, they do large coverage. Ooh, Creative Vanna says, did you see I finally did a mixed media journal cover after all these years? It was a mermaid journal using them. Oh, no. So you have to, you have to tag me in your video. Do you at Melody Made? Okay. And then, I, it, then they'll notify me. Because mostly I just don't remember to, to, to go get over and check everything that I need to be, you know, I'm just not that great at this whole thing. Okay, so I love numbers. Anyone who knows me more than probably three visits knows I love numbers. So the fact that I love numbers means that I'm always going to throw some numbers into things. And I don't like to make things look perfect. So you will see a half a number. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. For me, it's funny because there's a story in my little world about number or not numbers, but things that are halves, half a half a car, half a sandwich, stuff like that. Anywho, um, so I think I'm gonna leave that one there, and then I will wash that, and I'll come in with the smaller one because I don't want to fight with that. So I'm gonna come in with something. Where's the one that I had? I set that over here too, didn't I? Yeah, let's do this one. Well, now, now you hear things falling, right? So I'm going to come over here for this one because this one is easier for me to set next to my numbers. And this is modeling paste. Again, this is Hobby Lobby. I buy it half priced. I think there's ways to make some at home, but I'm not positive. Sheila might know that. Sheila knows a lot of homemade recipes am i right sheila you and jennifer used to talk about it okay so now we have numbers and this thing whatever it is <laughs> oh she will get the video up i hope laugh up posted pick on facebook though oh okay awesome well, when you get the video up, tag me, sweetie, because I would love to. Oh, my dogs are going at it again. Little boogers. Okay, so what I want to do is I don't like that to be so what it is. And so I'm going to try to fix that. And we'll just see how, how agile I can be doing this right here. <laughs> Here comes my pumpkin head. Hi, pumpkin heads. Okay. So it looks a little messy, but remember, this is this is not supposed to be perfect. This is all going to get painted, and then the texture comes up from there. DIY queen here. I'm cheap. Yes. Uh, Sheila knows lots of stuff. Uh, Sheila, do you have videos on your channel? Because the ladies probably would love to learn to make a few things. I mean, there's some things you can make at home, ladies, and then you don't have to worry about buying it at the store right okay so let me get this up here we have um modeling paste through a stencil we have um, a cluster of flat back gems and we have some little circle textures there okay now all of this is going to be painted back over again black and then we'll go up from there because i don't know if i'm going to do metals i don't know if i'm going to do um you know, uh, the sprays. I don't know what I'm going to do because I just sat down. I didn't even know I was going to do this much until we got to talking. So, which is awesome. I'm glad I did because I've been wanting to, this box has been sitting there, but see, here's the cool thing. You guys, you see the box. Now what I can do is I can put a, a magnet closure here, or I can, uh, do a hole with the string. I can do all kinds of things. Yeah. You should definitely go follow, um, Creative Nana, a.k.a. Sheila, she has a lot of, she's been in my Facebook group for years, and she has uh, always been very instrumental in 
wanting to help people learn about the ways to, well, save money and, um, you know, not break your bank, right? Who needs to do that? I just don't think that's necessary in today's world when when you think about most people are going back to, you know, growing their own food, right? So how awesome is it to the idea of creating your own uh, craft supplies if you can? I just noticed this and it's just going to bug me. And so that's just the way my brain works. But I need to put a little bit more. So I, if I see a hole, I got to fix it. And right here, there is a bit of a hole. So there we go. See how that kind of took it? Because when what's going to happen is it might look fine now, but when it's all black and you don't have anything that's, uh, you know, anyways, you'll trust me. I can feel it. I can feel the trust in the room. So, yeah. Thank you, Mari. That is so awesome. We love to support each other, whether it's bingo or this or that or the other. You know, that's just what we we, we are very, very sweet. Um, let's see. Same old ones. I'm planning out new ones for this summer. I'm very down to earth girls. Keep my video simple and and uh, like my personality. Just a slight warning in advance. So what she's saying is, is she's not doing this as a professional. She's a lady that's at home and doing videos with the equipment that she has and doing the best she can and having a great time. And she hopes you'll enjoy what she has to share with you. And I agree with that. And that's the way all of us should look at all the videos, right? Hmm. All righty. I want to bring, I'm going to set this aside. We're going to let that dry and then we'll come back to that another day. But I want to bring this back so you can see how it's drying. And that's my grungy mixed media melody trunk that I got from uh, Sherry Jones. And it says here, enjoy laughter. And I do. I do, I do, I do. I enjoy laughter. I enjoy hanging out with you guys. Thanks for coming looking at my games. Thanks for uh, watching and seeing how I finished this up. Thanks for inspiring me to create another box. And big hugs. And I will see you soon. Look at me. This is where you're supposed to look when you're done crafting. Right, Sheila? Bye, guys.